Hello, this is Andy Ford video, and we're going to look at creating an automatic fade that comes in at the beginning of your layer and out at the end of your layer. So for example, we have a logo here, and we want to add an expression to the opacity property that will fade in and fade out no matter when the in and out points of the layer may be. And there are several ways to do that in After Effects with expressions, but we're going to use the linear expression method today. We first discussed the linear expression on this channel. I believe it was June 2021. But as a refresher, this is how the expression looks. You choose a variable. You choose a minimum and maximum for that variable. And then you have a value 1 and a value 2. So if we go to our logo and we set an expression by alt clicking or option clicking on the stopwatch for opacity, we can write our linear expressions. But first, we should create a variable for the length of time we want our fade to be. Let's call it fade time. Let's make it 0.33. Most people tend to use a 10 frame dissolve. The composition is 29.97 frames per second. This gets you pretty close. Feel free to type in 0.5 for half second. Feel free to type in 1 for a full second. That's up to you. And now with that variable determined, we can write an expression for the fading in. Another variable name is needed. Makes sense to make it fade in. And we're going to set that equal to our linear expression. And so for our variable here, we would like to use time because it is the time that we want to look at for when our layer starts. What is our minimum time? Well, that's going to be the endpoint of our layer, which in After Effects is endpoint with a capital P. What is our maximum value of time? Well, that would be when the fade stops. So in our case, it would be the endpoint when the layer starts to 0.33 seconds later when the fade would stop and it would be at 100% opacity. So that would be the endpoint plus our variable, fade time. And now we need our value 1 and value 2. Well, value 1 is the opacity you want at the beginning, which would be 0 because we're fading up. And then opacity when we are done would be 100, fully faded in. And that will cover us for fading in, but now we need to worry about fading out. So we'll add another line here and create another variable called fade out, set it equal to another linear expression. Once again, we want to look at time as our variable. However, since we're fading out, we want to look at the out point of our layer. So in After Effects, that is out point with a capital P. What's our maximum value? When do we want the fade to start? In this case, that would be the duration of our fade from the end of our layer. And so that would be our out point minus our fade time variable. And then again, value 1 and value 2. At the out point, we want opacity to be 0. And at our max point, which is out point minus fade time, we would like our opacity to still be 100 to start the fading out. And now we simply combine both these line items. We'll hide our linear expression. And when we play this timeline, we will see a fade in and a fade out. And because this is an expression, it doesn't matter if you adjust your in and out points of the layer. And because we added a variable for fade time, it's easy to change your fade duration. So I hope you found another use case for linear expressions to be helpful, allowing you to fade in and fade out on your project. Thank you.